Hi guys, it's Neve, and today I'm going to be dyeing my hair. Um, so I'm using the new L'Oreal Paris uh, Color Vista, something like that. Um, product. This is um, the washout one rather than the permanent one, and it is in turquoise. It says vivid for two weeks. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, before I go into showing you me doing this and we'll see how it comes out, I just want to talk a little bit about um, the Colorista, color, pretty sure I'm saying that right, um, bleach. Um, I have already used this now on my hair in order to try and get it ready uh, for this one because it says it's going to work better with like um, an ombre hair look um, so you can see the top of my hair is still like the dark natural colour it was before and the bottom is uh, now sort of blonde like it's kind of a goldy blonde it's definitely a different colour to the top of my hair um, if you can see that like colour difference um, however, it's definitely not what it shows on the packet. <laughs> um, I didn't really think that one little bottle of bleach was going to make my hair platinum white like it is on the box cover, but it is kind of what they are implying. Um, so on the back of the box, you can see it's showing someone with dark hair and it says add this and then you'll have uh, this bleach blonde hair and I can't see anything on here to suggest that um, one box isn't going to be enough to do that. Uh, I didn't think it would be and it wasn't um, but yeah I, I just think maybe that should be clearer that if you've got a lot of hair and if you've got dark hair that the, the results not going to be like that. Um, I've seen one other person uh, do a video um, using this product on YouTube with dark hair and she seemed to have sort of the same result. Um, you know, it's definitely lighter, uh, it's, it's just, it's not bleach blonde, if that's what you wanted then um, it's not going to work. And I, I checked and I double checked that I was doing it all right. Um, L'Oreal also has a video of how to do it and all the steps to use and I followed that exactly. It was really easy to use but the other confusing thing about this product is um, that it seems really unclear on timing. Uh, different parts of the product seem to suggest different lengths of time. Um, one said like about 30 minutes, one was like 25. When I watched the L'Oreal video online it said 50 minutes so it, it seemed really odd to me that how long you were meant to leave it in your hair seemed to change um, by such amount of time. I mean 25 minutes to 50 minutes that's quite a difference in, in, in time like that's going to create a different effect. Um, so yeah that, that seemed a little odd to me that how long you were meant to leave the bleach in your hair wasn't very clear but I left it in for the full amount of time this was like 50 minutes um, so yeah I think if I'd left it in for any less time you probably wouldn't be able to see anything um, but what I'm hoping is that this is going to be enough to let the turquoisey colour show up um, because on the back of this box they're suggesting that it's this kind of ombre uh, look that's going to create um, the best effect and it's saying that really bleached hair may actually be like too light it's going to give a different effect to uh, the picture on the front of the box so I'm hoping that this is going to be okay they were suggesting on this box that you should use the um, the ombre kit uh, in order to get that look first and I, I just think that it probably wouldn't have done anything to my hair because this was the full-on bleach kit and it only created this so I can't imagine that anything less would have shown up at all uh, but that's okay um, we're going on to testing this product out so it seems super simple like I've had 
um, temporary hair dyes before. Um, I've done it a couple times. This one seems the most straightforward. Um, I think it comes with picture instructions, um, comes with the gloves, and it comes with the hair dye. Um, and it says that it's like already kind of got like a nourishing mask in it that you don't have to condition afterwards, that you don't have to mix it with anything else. It's, it's just this, you just put the gloves on your hands, put this into the gloves and put it into your hair, wait and wash it out. That's pretty much all it says you have to do. Um, so yeah, let's just see how this goes then. Okay, I'm back. I've just changed so I don't ruin my clothes with hair dye um, and I just watched a video um, by L'Oreal and they showed the girl there partitioning her hair just into two um, if you've got a lot of hair just so you get everything evenly covered so I'm gonna do exactly like she did in that video um, Although the girl in the instructions seems to have a lot of hair and uh, isn't too bothered about that. <laughs> um. Okie dokie. I like that they give you gloves with it. Because um, when hair dyes don't give you gloves, I just, I can't be bothered to buy them. And then I just have like pink hands for a week or something. Uh. They gave me four. I guess maybe if you're doing it with a friend. I like that. It's just me and you guys. <laughs> no one else here. Uh, this is a beautiful look, I will say. Uh, Okie dokie. They literally showed people squeezing it straight onto the hair um, before they even put it on their hands but I think I'll probably put it in my hands first um, and then we'll see how it goes it's really dark okay you can still see that it's blue though in the thing like there it's blue go through it I'm going to wreck this towel. probably just like touch up a few bits but I'm not sure that I would partition my hair again if I did this because I would have liked to have put more on the top bit rather than on the bottom bit but I didn't know how much I was going to have till I got to this bit but yeah there we go uh, I'm gonna go shower and We'll see what this looks like after it's all been rinsed out um, once I've waited 25 minutes. Okay, I'm back from having washed my hair through. Um, so just some notes on just before I um, washed it because my camera was running low on battery but I'll tell you now. Um, I worked really hard at trying to like blend it in and try and find little highlighted bits from when I bleached it and make sure that I got them done and so this is kind of partially done up to here um, this isn't like the whole of my head and I completely used the whole of the bottle in fact I cut open the bottle and 
and absolutely used every single drop of this so like if you have hair that's as long as mine so that sort of waist length hair and stuff um yeah this bottle will not cover the whole of your head um but i wasn't planning on doing that uh but just in case um so yeah now that it's washed and it said no conditioner or anything just had to wash it through till the water ran clear i can definitely see the colour in it um, and I just let it air dry for a little bit and now I will blow dry it and we will see what the results are like. Okay, wow, so yeah, it's really, it's really green, uh, or really turquoise. I like it, I do like it. Okay, so I'm just going to change out of something blue so you can see it a bit better, and then I'll just style my hair a little bit, because uh, I don't usually just leave it, like, completely straight. Um, okay, I'm changed, you can properly see just how vibrant the colour is oh, yeah I'm liking it more and more looking at it just like adjusting to it it's just it's kind of fun and different um, so yeah I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, a spray in just to make it a little bit less frizzy this is uh, John Frieda's Frizz Ease uh, glossing mist and oh my gosh I love this product so much because my hair does get quite frizzy and because I bleached it the other day in order to do this it's kind of extra dry at the moment and this product just not only does it just immediately take out lots of the frizziness it also just makes my hair really soft to the touch like if you put your hand through it it feels automatically like really different um it just feels like amazing and it goes straight in on dry hair like there's nothing else you have to do with it it's just in the morning if your hair's looking a bit frizzy if it's humid whatever and immediately it's just so much more like glossy I also really like this like up in a ponytail I think I just I like the sort of colour difference between um, like the main bit of my hair and then as the ponytail starts you can see like the colour fade change I'm just going to curl it just a little bit. Um, this is kind of what I usually do with my hair. Um, just gives it like a little bit of shape, um, like a little bit of movement, so it's not just like lying straight. So yeah, so I finished curling it and with this side I just pulled the curls out a little bit. I'm going to do the same here. Just like run it through with my fingers so it's not like tight ringlets. It's like a little bit looser, more natural. And yeah. Ta-da! There is my hair. It's done. I'm really happy with it. 
yeah, I think now that it's curled, it just feels a bit more me. Like it's quite emeraldy looking, more than um, the box showed like quite a dark bluey colour. And I think because of the really sort of yellowy goldy tones in my hair, it does make it um, quite quite towards the green side rather than the blue side. Um, I don't mind that, I like green like as a colour, it kind of suits my skin tone. Uh, obviously uh, blue and yellow will make green so watch out for that but I'm pretty happy with it. Happy with it up or down. Um, yeah so it should last for around two weeks and then start to like fade out. Um, I hope it's been useful to you. Uh, nothing in this video was sponsored, it was just me testing things out, so hope this was helpful to you. Bye!